Lambert Acres here, and this is gonna be a really quick video, but it's gonna be uh, the five lures that I just bought for spring. Now, I just made a video of the five lures that I used for early spring, and basically I use a bunch of different things, okay? But I, I'm I'm gonna boil it down to the, the ones that work the best, okay? I bought these to try them out. Um, a few of these I've never tried before, so I am really going to uh, try to expand my palate to see what works the best. So that way I can let other people know because people are always asking, I catch fish, okay? People, but they're always asking me like, what would you use? What'd you use? What'd you use? And I tell them, they're like, I've never heard of that thing. And so I'm trying to branch out and use different things, some things that you may not even have heard of. Uh, so that way when I tell you or show you, you could be like, oh, well, that's cool. Let me go try that. Anyways, we are going to be using the red eyed shad by strike king this uh a buddy of mine grant has been using these fishing with grant is his uh his youtube channel check that out but this is the chartreuse belly crawl um that's i'm very excited about that he uses lipless crank baits and nothing else unless it's mossy um so and he catches a ton of big fish so i'm gonna try that and the rattle in that sounds just fantabulous we're gonna try that um i'm a i love the chatterbait okay it is absolutely one of my favorites i use a black and blue all the time and i put a um a pack a chunk as the trailer which is it looks like a crawdad has like little claws okay um i'm going to be using a white i've never used the white one though okay um just i've just always stuck to the black and blue z-man chatterbait all right we are going to be branching out trying different things here uh so white would imitate a shad or like a school of minnow or even even uh minnows and what um i may uh um even put a um a brown trailer on here and then it would imitate uh basically like a bluegill or uh or uh that size of a fish okay or crappie even uh so then bass are going to be attracted by the chatter and then they're going to see it and then they would come and sometimes when you use a, a crawdad like i use a crawdad trailer um it doesn't necessarily uh because i don't use it as a jig i basically just retrieve it i do a slow to medium retrieve um when you do that um it's not necessarily a crawdad it could be uh but that paddling motion of their uh, of its claws actually kind of looks like a fish swimming. If you look at it while you and always look at your lures, see what they do because um, you know if it looks absolutely stupid to you, like it's then to a fish, it's probably gonna look like a, a stupid lure that they're not gonna want to bite. So, anyways, I got the uh, white. This is the sexy shad. And I've heard the expression sexy shad before, uh, so we're going to try it. I'm going to try it without the trailer and with the trailer. I've never had extreme luck with my black and blue without the trailer. Um, all my luck came with it, but we got this. You can put a curly tail on here. You can put any type of trailer on here, um, but we're trying that. Now, like I said, I have, um, I've used Z-Man chatterbaits religiously, okay? Uh, I'm going to be using a uh, Rick Clunes Trickster 2 Black. Um, and this is this says it's completely weedless. They call it the bladed swing head design. And this is the black. And it came with a um, one live motion lucky swim. Okay. And I'll try to hold up these so that you guys can pause the video if you're like, hey, I want to get me one of those. And if you're like, hey, uh, Lambert Acres, where'd you get that? Well, I'll tell you where I got it. Uh, Walmart. That's <laughs> that's where I got all the stuff. Oh, wow. This, this uh, paddle right here is actually rubber. So, but this is a, it's a, wow. It's a two-piece. And this actually has a screw right here for this so you screw in the head and then basically you can go through and like uh texas rig it not texas rig it but you'll make it oh that's pretty sticky sharp 
Um, not Texas rig it, but um, you'll make it flat. I don't know what I'm trying to say there. You know what I'm saying? Huge hook, though. Look at that hook. Enormous hook, kids. Uh, so we're, I'm excited about trying that. Because uh, I've never tried that before. All right, moving on. And two, I've never done any of the swim baits. Uh, I've wanted to. People say they're awesome, but I just have not. Um, so I got the Berkley's Power Bait. Uh, this is the Poggy Swim Shad. And this is a three inch shad. And it's pre-rigged, uh, quarter ounce. There's five in here. That's what it looks like. Okay. And then I got the Storm VMC um, Wild Eyed Live Bluegill. Now these both have a kick tail on the back. Um, but so right now in the springtime, the uh, bass are on their beds. Okay. So if you put a little bluegill around their beds, I'm thinking that uh, he ain't gonna like that and he's gonna want to attack it. So, uh, so we get those. So that's the five lures that I just bought for spring. Like, subscribe, share the video, uh, leave a comment, tell me what you use in the spring and early summer. And then after the spring session, then I'm gonna go through and list the five lures that I use in the spring um, and see if they're the same as last year. I'm assuming they are, but I'm trying different stuff. So I don't know if they will be or not. So there you go. Uh, make sure you look for the future videos and I have videos that come out weekly usually-ish. So there you go. All right. God bless.